I am an, a realist. Probably that's like the base of me. I'm eccentric. I am sarcastic. Um, and I'm kind and helpful. I try to be at least. And sometimes I put others issues before my own, which is somewhat of a downfall, but it is rewarding to me to make sure that everybody that I care about in my life is taken care of. Who am I? Um, I don't think I can give you a full answer yet because I think like part of like figuring out who you are, it, it takes longer than that. I'm only 21 years old. I'm still learning. I'm still growing. I'm still going through life. I still have a lot to learn. I try to be hardworking. Um, but sometimes, you know, I get lazy sometimes, but I try to have a really good work ethic because I feel like that could really help in all aspects of your life and really improve, um, you know, schoolwork and just getting better. What, whatever you want to do, it could really improve whatever. And um, I try to be really nice to everyone I meet because, you know, first impressions, but I, I just want to be a nice person. And um, sometimes I try to be funny. It doesn't always work out. Um, I try to be kind and caring. Um, it's pretty much me. I'm independent. I know that there are things that I have to do on my own, like reading, do my own stuff. Compassionate because people make their own mistakes. I am caring because I want uh, to get the same respect in return. And, and for me personally, it's a more of the Catholic sense because uh, all of my ancestors and all of my relatives are, ca are Catholics in their own right. So I think when you factor those four in, in no particular order, uh, that's, uh, that's a good way to respond to that question. Unfortunately, I just lost my biggest, one of my biggest supports in my life, um, but I still have so much support um, and so much support from actually a bunch of uh, co-workers. My grandfather just passed away, but um, his co-workers have actually reached out to me and I'm um, organizing a lot of memorials actually with that, but I've had a lot of other gifts than that too. Um, I love to draw, I love to be creative. Um, I could talk to pretty much anyone, so that's a pretty cool talent to have, um, a gift to have, I should say. But uh, really just having a nice life and a good life with friends and family, and that is my gift in life. Um, there's about, what, like 2,000 plus kids here. And we all go here, we all came here with the same goal, you know, to try to do better in our lives. So, I mean, I think all people matter. And even just past that aspect of just individuals and human beings, you know, we all breathe the same air. We, we we bleed the same blood. We all come from a, you know, from a woman, and we all die at the end of the day. So, you should treat people, you know, with respect. Treat them the way you want to be treated, because you know you're not better than anybody else. I'm a daughter. I'm a student. I'm an individual, one of many. Not really too much else to say about that. I guess just another person. I'm outgoing. I talk to a lot of people. Um, and when I, when, I, when I talk to people, I try to make them happy. I always try to do good for them. Um, I also love music, so when I hear music or I hear that other people like music, I like to get them involved. So I learned how to play the violin to get them involved, and I guess that would be a gift to um, get people to share music in the world and show people that um, there's good out there. And, um, I would say other gifts that I have are um, that um, I, I don't know, I'm helping. I like to help people. If I see that they have problems, I, I try to help them um, with whatever they're, whatever they're doing and whatever they need to do in the world. Um, I don't really know what else. Um, What's my vocation? Um, if you asked me 15 years ago, I'd probably say I wanted to play in the NBA, but uh, I realize that's not uh, it's not going to happen now. Um, I, I think uh, you know I really want to uh, take a stab at advertising. I think it's something that's really uh, interesting and something that's uh, continuing to progress. Um, there's always different types of advertising coming out every day. Uh, programmatic advertising. Um, 
programmatic radio, all these all these different avenues of uh, media. So it's something I'm really interested in. I hope uh, in the future I could pursue that. I am a 21-year-old uh, college student, um, King's College. <laughs> um, I guess I would say that I am a determined person. Um, I really want to get where I want to be. Um, I work hard, I think. I mean, I have my lazy days, and I think everyone has their lazy days, but um, I think that I'm somebody who wants something and will do anything to get it. Um, maybe not bad things to get it, but um, I, don't know, I just feel like I'm a hard worker and, and want to get to my goals. I agree with that. I mean, I think that I'm I'm a very motivated person as well. I love to I love to help others. I mean, I if you know me, I'm the type of person that I put everyone else's problems before my own because at the end of the day, if I know that I help someone else, then that ultimately makes me feel better about myself. So, I mean, I I just love to help people. I'm very motivated. I'm a very outspoken person. I say exactly how I feel. Um, because I say, I tell people exactly what I would want to be told. So I'm a very honest person because I would want someone to be that honest with me. So I think that generally I just, I try to help anyone honestly. I'm a very uh, smiley person. I just like to, I'm, I'm pretty laid back. I like to smile a lot. I like to uh, be nice to people. Uh, see people's days uh, go nicer, and I don't know, I like to help a lot of people. Um, I think that uh, helping people is important for anybody, but um, I also think that like helping yourself before you help others is also really important. I feel like a lot of the times, like especially in college, like when you have roommates and, and like a lot of different friends and stuff, like you always want to be the first one to help somebody and a lot of the times you, you, you lose yourself in that. And, um, you know, I just think that in order to, the best way to help somebody is to help yourself first um, so that you can better kind of give advice to people and um, do what you need to do to help that person. But like, yeah, in general, um, helping people is something that I really feel like um, is something that, would give meaning um, to whatever I'm doing, whether it's marketing or PR or designing stuff. Um, the end goal is to help people, whether it's in your company or outside of the company, whatever it may be, so. You actually like hit the nail on the head for what I was gonna Thanks. say. I mean, I think that you definitely need to help yourself before you can help anyone else because personally, I mean, I've, everyone has their stories, everyone has their struggles. I've, I helped myself throughout the past couple of years so now I know how to help other people. I am a huge advocate on suicide awareness and all that kind of stuff because I think that they're great. I think that they help so many people. And like throughout the years, I've learned to help myself. So now I know how to help other people. I can help other people in many different ways. And I think that, like Frank said, you need to help yourself in order to be able to help other people. Yeah, next time I want to go first. You guys nailed it. So pretty much, I, I like to help a lot of people. Uh, I think that it also works in reverse. So you don't always have to help yourself first to help other people, but even helping other people helps you as well. And I think it kind of just, once you make someone feel good and help them out and help them with their problems, you feel even better about yourself. And I think it, it really does work both ways. Yeah, it's kind of like that taking your own advice type thing. Yeah. You know, where you're giving somebody advice and then the next day you're kind of just going against everything that you said. So, yeah. so you find you yourself in the same situation and you're like, I should take my own advice. Exactly. Yeah. I think my calling is to honestly be as nice as possible. And it just, it really does take me a long way. I've tried to be as nice as I can to everyone I meet and people say hi to me and help me out. And it just, it's really reassuring and it really does go a long way as far as I want to take it and I think that being as nice as I am it just will help me out throughout my entire life and I can't even think of being any other way. 
I think that if you asked me this question three, three years ago when I started college, my answer would be absolutely completely different. But right now, I think that my calling would be to, like I said earlier, help people as much as I can, but in a way that I want people to believe in themselves. I want people to have the most confidence in themselves because I feel like nowadays a lot of people lack that because everyone is so judgmental these days. And I think that, I think that um, people just need a lot more self-confidence. So I'm here, I think my calling is to help people, I don't know, get, believe in themselves more. Um, kind of going to take it in a little bit of a different direction. Um, throughout like my first three years of college, I didn't know like um, like if I ever wanted to be married or like have a family or anything. And I think um, at my fourth year of college, I'm kind of seeing what's in front of me, um, like graduations in front of me, you know, having a job, um, kind of starting my life and settling down. A lot of people don't want to settle down until like their thirties or whatever. Um, but for me. I kind of want to like have a legacy and it may not be this like crazy legacy where like, you know, I changed, I mean, I could change the world. Anyone, any one of us could change the world, but um, I just want to be able to have a family, have children and be able to pass that legacy down and, um, and just raise children how I was raised um, to help others and to be a good person and to um, do their part in society. So. Um, so when they're 30 years old and they have kids, they can do the exact same and say, I was raised by two good parents who, um, who taught me how to, how to live life. Going off of that, I definitely think that I want to, um, I want to be the person that someone thinks back to themselves before they go to bed at night or something and say, I didn't give up because of her. She said something that helped me realize that I should keep going, I should try something new. I want to be the person to make a difference in someone's life, even if it's one person. Yeah, I'd have to agree. I want to just change one person's life. I don't care who it is. It could even be my own mother's, but I really just want to know that I, I made an impact on someone's life. 